As we all know, iOS 11 developer beta version was released last week and it is considered as one of the biggest release ever for iPad and iPhone with hundreds of updates. And today in this video, I will let you know how you can install the iOS 11 beta version in your iPad or iPhone and we'll have an overview of it. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm currently having iOS 10.3.2. It's always recommend to take a backup before starting uh, the installing the beta version. The first step is you have to go to beta.applebeta.co. I'll provide the URL in the description and we have to install the beta profile. It's clearly mentioned like you are installing at your own risk. So it's always recommend to installing a secondary device because it's a beta version, developer beta version. You have to click on download. Once you click on download, it will install the beta profile in your software. You have to click on install and you have to provide your pin. Again, click on install. Once it is installed, it will ask you to restart. So we have to restart our device. The steps for installing into iPhone or iPad is same. So I am currently showing this process in iPad and you can even install in your iPhone in the same way. Once the device is up, you have to go to Generals, Software Update and you can see the iOS 11 is available for download and it is 1.72 GB for me, for my iPad. So you have to click on download and install. Based on your internet speed, it will take time. Like for me, it was showing around two to three minutes. This whole upgrade process might take around 15 to 10 minutes. So you have to be little patience and you have to wait for that much time. So now the software started downloading it. And once it is downloaded, you have to click on install now. It will verify the update and it will start installing the software. So as you can see it's already started installing the software for me. It might restart once or twice. So the software is installed and if if I go to settings and click on general software update you can see it is updated to iOS 11 so the process is pretty simple only thing is you need to take backup of this the first change we notice is the animation on the lock screen and you can see it's showing for today all the updates a lot of animation has been added there are so many changes we are having for this release. One of the major changes we have noticed is in control center. For iPad, I can see all my recent app as well as change in control center, like brightness, volume, even the recording you can add. So everything you can see. One more changes I notice is like menu. So you can open your home menu any page. Just you have to scroll it up. This is one of the key changes we are having. There is a uh, like more update on App Store. If you open the App Store, it's totally revamped. And as you can see, we can see today option for today's app, yesterday's app, games options, all these uh, options we are getting. So it's totally customized and it's it's in a new different way. The next very important change is we get an option for my files where we can see all the files on your device as well as on your iCloud. So when you click, I can go to my iCloud. I can see all my folders of Mac as well. You can see my desktop folder is visible. And once I click on it, I can see what is the files present on my MacBook. So this is one of the very important feature and multitasking or multi split screen is here here you can open and you can just drag and drop so this will open your multi screen which is also one of the key features which we are getting in iOS 10 
this is the developer beta version and as we move on to public beta version there might be some of the new features also introduced hope you like this video and if you like it you can subscribe to my channel i will also provide a link for downgrading to ios 10